Okay, okay. She belonged to the competition. Bye. You want to know what's sad? I be watching these dudes all the time. I really be scared to mess up their name. But I'm going to have a name in the link of the description. Watch out for the video start. I'm going to get to smash, smash that like button. Come down and try. Let's go ahead and get to it. There are very few things on God's green earth that should be allowed to tear you and your friend apart. Having a friend that's there for you unconditionally is just about the most awesome thing in the world. Come on, man. My friend used to spend all day every day doing the craziest and most dangerous shit. You know those days when you come back inside and you're still on cloud nine from all the crazy shit you and your friend were doing? And then your parents like, oh, looks like somebody had a good day outside with their friend. And in your head, you're just thinking, she's going to be so mad when she finds out we just shat on our neighbor's doorstep. <laughs> they were especially fun. I remember those days sitting with my friend, watching the TV's glorious transition as it dawned from Cartoon Network to Adult Swim, feeling like I was- That used to be the day. Back. Can you imagine if we had Rick and Morty back then? We'd be f***ing geniuses by now. <laughs> So one day I go over to my friend Davion's backyard, and my guy is outside just straight up throwing punches at absolutely nothing. He's waxing on, he's waxing off. What's he's up? Like What's got up? perfect form right now, but like it's being wasted because he's just punching the air. Why is he doing this? Like we need somebody's face behind this. I automatically assume that he's in some kind of trouble and he's probably training for it. My guy, exactly what are you doing right now? Huh? Oh, hey man. Just shadow boxing. Oh, hey man, just shadow boxing. Nigga, what are you shadow boxing for? He then drops his smile and gets super serious. And from the look on his face, I already get the assumption that whatever he's about to tell me is going to be super important to him. So he goes, Now, if I tell you, you have to come with me because I cannot risk getting caught. Anyone who knows about it has to be there. It's mandatory. I am instantly like, Okay, nigga, who are we fighting? And how badly do you want their face mashed in? Yo, hearing that sentence as a kid automatically sounds like the coolest thing in the world is about to take place. And I will be damned if I'm gonna miss it. But, just simply put, I, I should not have gone to this thing. I should not have gone. Girls from the hood can be the most beautiful people on the planet, but they can also be the f***ing worst. And we've all grown up knowing at least one girl that acts exactly like this. Her name was Irene, and she was abysmally gross my guy and we we all know this girl right she likes to stand outside all day she was a that back in holding up the sky with her equally gross and right, i'm see you later bro she's gotta hit you with a before and after every sentence she's always eating hot cheetos but she's usually eating them with a fork because oh they got cheese on them and i don't want to fuck up my nails <laughs> come every single party that got thrown in the hood she was usually found in the back dancing on at least five guys now i'm not talking about the burger restaurant but she did like to take everyone's beef for all i know this is hereditary though because her mom was the queen of disgustingness three times the age and thought and around at least three times a day she was able to rack up on much hate in our community for cheating with taken men i would say if you look closely you'd find that at least 80 percent of our neighborhood's drama was centered around this girl and her mom. My mm. other sister even had to put the paws on this girl on multiple occasions because she has a big all-inclusive mouth and she doesn't know when to shut the f*** up. Well, she's having a competition to decide who's gonna be her new boyfriend. What, what is this that's coming out of your face? Are you finna sit here and tell me you are shadow boxing to win the position of this of her of her boyfriend? What do I say? I'm gonna be quiet. Right now? See, I already knew you were gonna be judgmental about it. If you're allowed to do something stupid, then I'm allowed to tell you that it's stupid. So at this point, he starts trying to explain to me how the competition is gonna go. Mm -hmm. There are three areas that you could compete in in order mm -hmm. to demonstrate your value. Mm -hmm. Push-ups, slap boxing, and a foot race. What if the you're able hell? To in the first two areas, then it betters your chances of being picked when she gets to the last area. And get me, she did crazy shit for attention back in the day, but never anything this freaking stupid. I'm like, hold on, hold on, back up, back up. You're telling me that this is for the Irene that was caught, given up in the bathroom 
right? That's the one? He's freaking owning it right now. He's proud of this. That this is a decision that he's actively choosing to make. You've got to be kidding me, dude. There is no way you're going to willingly thrust yourself into a competition with all of this girl's simps in order to compete for a girl's lips that have most likely been passed around like a bowl of mashed potatoes on Thanksgiving. So he goes back to shadow boxing like I haven't just said shit to him. I'm pleading with him in the background for the sake of our friendship. Don't do this. Dude, you're my friend. And I know we're just a bunch of thirsty kids, but we're not desperate enough to put ourselves in situations like these for the not-so-grand role of being a boyfriend of someone like her. If you decide you want to go, then that's fine, but there is no way in hell I'm sneaking out of my house tonight to go with you. So late at night I'm sneaking out of my house so I can go with him. I got dressed, stuffed some clothes in my bed so that nobody gets suspicious, and I set my Teen Titan stopwatch to have me back at home in about three hours. If anyone's seen my previous videos, you know that this Teen Titan stopwatch is essential for doing bad kid stuff. After that, I creep from my bed over to my window, and I slowly slide the glass up and position myself outside the ledge. My adrenaline is pumping at this point, especially when I let go of the ledge and jump down into the bushes. But it was like a three foot drop, so I, I was probably just big. We start walking across the street and to the big ass field where this thing is being held, and the further away I get from my house, the less inclined I feel to actually go through with this. Reason being is there's this one guy who's several times gone out of his way to try and fight me in public. His name was Kivan, but for the remainder of this video, we're going to call him Idiot Face. No matter what event was going on, he was usually there and usually trying to fight me. Now the reason he said he hated me so much had nothing to do with me. It had to do with something that my sister had said to him. But because we lived in a time where it was just inappropriate to hit women, even <laughs> if they were to like literally walk up to you and shoot you in the face, he openly admit- I call it the win- He admitted that he wanted- So a time before Chris Brown? I'm sorry. Don't don't cancel me. I'm sorry. Excuse <coughs> me. Don't cancel me. To take his frustrations out on me, which ranked very, very highly on my list of what it means to be an absolute fing ass bitch. I knew for a fact that if I showed up, he would more than likely be looking for an excuse to fight me. So we've got people stretching, swapping Gatorades, she's sitting in her chair in the middle of the field just loving the attention. And of course, the worst simp of all was there. So I go over and sit somewhere in the field so I'm not in the way, and wouldn't you know it, Idiot Face decides he's gonna stretch right next to me to assert some kind of BS dominance. Swear to God, one of these days I'm gonna punch you right in the f- Before you know it, hats are off, everyone's racing, and most of these guys suck viciously. My friend and Idiot Face are in the lead, they're just about evenly matched, heel to heel, toe to toe, but of course Idiot Face can't have that and starts pushing and taunting Davion. And does she say anything about the fact that he just obviously f the rules? Of course not, because that would just make way too much sense to be the case. And I'm pretty sure you guys already know where the hell this whole competition is going, but to make matters worse, he's even cheating during push-ups. He's calling people out for having the wrong form and getting them disqualified by her, essentially being self-proclaimed proctor of the entire damn competition. And when he calls you out, God forbid you say anything about it because then he'll just threaten to tell your parents that you snuck out to this event in the first place. And it's fairly obvious to me at this point that this entire thing is rigged because not only was he bumping into my friend during the race, he is the only one with the incorrect form while doing push-ups, and she has not said a thing to him. He stops what he's doing, and he calmly walks across the field to where she's sitting, and whispers in her ear. These guys are getting really, really buddy-buddy. After this nigga says whatever he just said in her ear, he points over to me, and she looks. Now what they did next had me shooting adrenaline straight from my ass into my heart. There is nothing worse than seeing two of the people you hate the most work together. Something was off. That goes without saying. But I guess I'll tell you guys what happened when I see you next time. I hate you. Bro. Bro. I hate you. I was getting into it too. I was getting into it. I bet you they're gonna say, everybody, jump him. 
But y'all, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, comment down below if y'all want to see some more stuff like this in the weed. Hey.